everyone, and welcome to today's swearing-in ceremony. Today we're going to be welcoming some new members to our team, some new assignments, and a special presentation. So to get things started, it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Sheriff Wayne Ivey. Thank you, Debbie. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you guys for joining us for our swearing ceremony. If you haven't been to one of our ceremonies before, very informal. If you want to come up front and take pictures, please do. Come up, um, take as many as you'd like of your loved one. We're always excited when we see new members join our team, as well as see our current members as they accelerate in their career and move up to new positions and new responsibilities. Uh, before we get started, I want to take a real quick moment and ask you to give a big round of applause to our command team. They are truly the ones out there making sure our team has everything they need to get the job done. So please, a big round of applause for them. I know in the back of the room, we have some of our members of our career development team, as well as our HR. They're the ones that are responsible for making sure we're recruiting and getting the best of the best. So a big round of applause for them. And then we have Debbie Moody. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what she does, but it's nice to have her as part of the team. So. Um, actually, Debbie is responsible for putting all of this together and making sure that uh, everything runs smoothly and she is, um, she's an honor to work with. We have a lot of fun together and uh, so a real round of applause for Debbie. I've got, um, I actually uh, have uh, two members of our command that uh, I'm going to ask to stand up because this very well could be their last swearing in ceremony before retirement. Uh, both of them, Daryl, how many years? 30? 34, JJ? 32. 32. So um, please, uh, you guys stand up. Big, big round of applause for them. Uh, all right, Debbie, let's do it. All right, I'd like to start with introducing to you our newest deputies. So right off the bat, you know, you guys got two spots you can move up in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida, that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution, and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of, please individually state your duties, your duty, deputy, of Brevard County, on which I am now about to enter. So help me God. All right, keep your hands up. We'll do the loyalty oath. All right. Please individually state your name. A citizen of the state of Florida. And of the United States of America. And being employed by. And being employed by the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And a recipient of public funds. To hereby solemnly swear. That I support the Constitution. Of the state of Florida. And of the United States of America. Congratulations. Blake Carpenter. She did that just to be mean, man. <laughs> just to be mean. Who's coming up? Pin. Uh, Kate. Kate, come on up. This is uh, Megan. We're broadcasting this, right? So, <laughs> Colonel Spalding, Kate's also put in an application here at the Brevard <laughs> County Sheriff's <laughs> Office. We'll be extremely glad to have her. So, All right, there, this point is going to go right through the top right there. Just, just in fairness, Colonel, um, I take that back. My son works for you, so I don't want to. I don't want you to take that out on him. So, all right, now we can move forward. Manny Contreras. Sorry, man. Who's coming up? Mom's coming up. I got it. 
Watch your step, man. Thank you. You can come on up and take a picture right there if you want. Mom, I'm going to put you right here. I'm going to put you on this side. And this point is going to go right through the top of that pipe right there. You don't have to fasten. It'll stay on. It'll stay on. Awesome. You. you got it. William Palfrey. Who's coming up? Father. Dad's coming up. You can see you, sir. This point's going to go right through the top there. Dad, you can stick that in his neck if you want. <laughs> I'm sure he's caused you enough headaches at night. Alexandria Bachelor. Yeah, who's coming up? My dad. Dad's coming up. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, doing good. All right, this point right through the top, right there. Yes, sir. I'm gonna scoot you. Yeah, actually, I think she's lined up just about right. Megan, they lined up right. Who's coming up? My best friend. All right, best friend's coming up. <laughs> A couple of people were like, who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get an application while you're here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you your bar for your bachelor's degree. Thank you. And then this goes right through the top of that pipe right there. I'll do this real quick. Okay. I'll just walk over there. It goes to Blake, right? Just real quick before we bring next one up, um, when Blake was up here, I didn't give him his uh, military bar. We, uh, we take great pride in hiring our veterans, our, our military heroes, and uh, our agency is, has just got them throughout. So please give Blake a big round of applause for his military service. Thank you. Keandra Campbell. Who's coming up? My husband and my friends. All right, husband and friends are coming up. CJJ, when you're nice, you have a lot of friends. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Right, so Good to see you. Uh, all right. This, this point is going to go right through the top of that pipe right there. All right, I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a great photo. I'm going to turn you this way just a little bit, sir. Right there. Right for that rotation. The one? I'll get you there. It'll, it'll usually hang there. You don't have to fasten it. There you go. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me just fix it just real quick. Right there. there. You're from Broward County? It's the first time you've seen a real sheriff, isn't it? <laughs> you tell Sheriff Tony I said that. <laughs> All right, I'd like to introduce to you our newest civilian employee, Brittany Stock. 
good. All right, you're on. You're right in the middle here. You ready? All right. Let's so raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and. I do solemnly swear that I will support, defend, and protect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Constitution and government. The Constitution and government. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. That I'm duly qualified. That I'm duly qualified. To hold office. To hold office. Under the Constitution. Under the Constitution. And I will well and faithfully. And I will well and faithfully. Perform the duties of. Perform the duties of. Please state your duties. Correction technician. Of Brevard County. Of Brevard County. On which I'm now about to enter. Of which I'm now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. All right, perfect. Let's do the Lord the oath. I. I. Please state your name. Brittany Stock. A citizen of the state of Florida. A citizen of the state of Florida. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. And being employed by. And being employed by. The Brevard County Sheriff's Office. The Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And a recipient of public funds. And a recipient of public funds. To hereby solemnly swear. To hereby solemnly swear. That I support the Constitution. That I support the Constitution. Of the state of Florida. Of the state of Florida. And of the United States and of America. And of the United States of America. Well done. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Brittany, we're getting our dog tags to uh, starting our agency. Who's coming up? Steven. Steven's coming up. Calendar. <laughs> I can see, buddy. All right, Steven, you're going to stand right here. Hold them just like that, and you guys look right there at Megan. And who's next? This is the one that didn't show up. I'd like to introduce to you now our newest field training officers. Well. One out of five is not bad. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all ready? I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida. That I'm duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of. Please individually state your new duties. Field training officer. Field training officer. Field training officer. Field training officer. Of Brevard County. Of Brevard, Brevard County. County. Of which I'm now about to enter. Which I'm now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> we only have to do the one. So. Thanks, sir. Ezra Dominguez. Who's coming up, Ezra? Girlfriend. All right, girlfriend's coming up. All right, this point is going to go right through the top of that pipe right there. Let's get this way just a little bit right there. Perfect. Coming up, big Josh. Uh, Sergeant Sangalier. All right, Sergeant Sangalier. <laughs> he was about to take a selfie. <laughs> surprise. Surprise, surprise. I don't have to tell you how to do this. Right You've through his neck. Before. Right through <laughs> his neck or anywhere in that proximity. <laughs> My wife and son. All right, wife and son are coming up. Watch your step, baby, coming up. Yeah, imagine that. Right. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> All right, baby, this right there goes right through the top of that. I'm going to turn you this way, though. Let me turn you there. That way, make can get a great picture. <laughs> Is anybody from logistics here? I want to get Jeffrey some shirts that fit. 
<laughs> Justin Winstead. Coming up, my brother. I was gonna have you do this. Oh man, I'd be honored to. This is how you get promoted, folks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Who's coming up, baby? Alicia and my grandfather. I just showed you how to get promoted. He just showed it to you, and that's who you picked. <laughs> I know, I know. Do you, do you want me to help Joe get on the stool? Yeah. Here, I'll help him. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're perfect. I think it's perfect. Did you say your grandfather or your great grandfather? Woo! No, I'll you. We got Lynn. I'd like to introduce to you now our newest Corporal, Lynn Ortiz. You ready? No. All right. <laughs> Here we go. We only got to do one of them, so raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. <laughs> <laughs> protect, and defend. The Constitution and government. The Constitution and government. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And I'm duly qualified, I am duly qualified to, hold office to hold office under the Constitution. Under the Constitution. And I will well and faithfully, and I will well and faithfully perform the duties of the duties of please state your new Florida. duties of Brevard County, Brevard County, on which I'm now about to enter. Which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. All right, baby. Who's coming up? All right, I get to do it. Another accelerated promotion. I am on the sergeant's list. There you go. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> she said, I am on the sergeant's list. <laughs> We're going to scoot this up. Smart girl. Thank you. All right. James here. Sitting over there. James, you want to come up? So uh, a very short time back, we started uh, deciding to recognize our team members for their years of service during our swearing-in ceremonies. Um, historically speaking, uh, they might uh, give you the plaque at muster or give you the, uh, the plaque and recognition uh, during any, any time of the day at some type of luncheon or something. But when you look at the, the years of service that people commit to our agency as well as other agencies throughout the state and country, um, we wanted to make sure that we're recognizing those members um, properly and with respect. Um, when you're talking about somebody like James that has dedicated over 20 years of his life to our agency, to our community, to protecting uh, Brevard County, it certainly deserves our, uh, our recognition. And so I just want to personally thank you for everything thank you've you. done uh, and you will continue to do. And uh, just, uh, just know how much it means to us, my brother. All right, so, thank, you. thank you, brother. Thank you. All right, we have one last order of business before we uh, bring everybody up to take a photo. We have uh, two more swear-ins. So I need Dr. Jenkins and Dr. Boyd up, uh, up front. These are our two veterinarians from our animal care center. And they take care of not only the, the homeless pets in our community, but they also take care of all of our, what, probably uh, close to 40 dogs that we have uh, here at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. So um, I'm not going to swear them in because we've already done that. Uh, what I am going to do is ask them to bring their namesakes now, if you guys will bring them up, and we're going to swear in our two uh, newest bloodhounds, who are affectionately called Boyd and Jinx. And you might want to hold the monster. Yeah, cover his eyes. Cover his eyes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, he just smelled them. Too late. So these are our two new, newest bloodhounds. Um, and uh, 
We decided to name them after our two veterinarians who every day of their lives have been committed to taking care of animals. Certainly, uh, as I said, homeless pets in our community, but also all of our dogs throughout our agency that they care for and watch over and make sure are healthy so they can go out and do the job. So these are their handlers that are with them. But uh, Dr. Boyd and Dr. Jinx, you, uh, Jenkins, you guys have, um, have the honor of having them named after you. So we, um, we are gonna swear them in and uh, uh, I'm going to ask all four of you guys to raise your hands, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll try and work my way through this. All right, please raise your right paw, and repeat after me. I do solemnly bark that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified, qualified under the Constitution, under the Constitution to, track to track down and search for missing children, missing children or, seniors or seniors with Alzheimer's and dementia. And that I will well and faithfully, well and faithfully perform all the duties, all the duties of, a of a bloodhound within Brevard County. Within Brevard County. County. So, help so help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, your two latest canines. Dr. Boyd, Dr. Jenkins, keep his eyes covered. <laughs> All right. You guys want to, I don't know, can you even pick them up anymore? They've grown so much since we got them. All right, you guys want to pick them up and get a good group photo? Uh, why don't you hand up to me? Yeah, Dr. Jenkins. Dr. Jenkins had a little accident. There we go. I can remember when I held Junie just like that. <laughs> All right, you guys stand right in. Come in you guys come into the... Let them split the star right there. Dr. Jenkins, if you'll scoot this way just a little bit, ma'am. You guys get right in there. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're done, right? All right. Big round of hand for uh, not, only, not only our new canines, um, all of our canine handlers. I know we have a bunch of them in the back. Um, they love their jobs, they're passionate about what they do, and they do amazing at it. And then certainly for our two vets, for all they do in this community. Big round of applause for all of them. Hey, don't, don't trip and fall going down. I know, I step. <laughs> all right, so that brings us to the end of our swearing-in ceremony. We have one last um, order of business, and that is everybody that was part of the ceremony, please come up on stage so we can take a group photo. We invite all the family and friends to please come up, take as many photographs as you'd like. And uh, as you leave today, just know how much we appreciate all of your amazing support. We are truly blessed to have a community that loves us like this community does. So thank you guys, drive home safe. <laughs>